There is a huge distortion and a huge misconception from both men and women that men don't age and there's a lot of make-believe and delusion and the stroking of egos on the part of men who want and need to believe that aging and getting older is only reserved and only applies to women and many of these Dusty Dans and Red Pill Rejects and MGTOW clouds, uh, Clowns are not that bright. Uh, they lack insight and a lot of men think that they can fly to Brazil or the Dominican Republic with $10 in their wallet and live a life of leisure on white sand beaches or that they can somehow uh, call in a mail order bride from Russia uh, that doesn't talk back. And a lot of bitter men delude themselves into this thinking that all men age like fine wine, like a Merlot or a Cabernet, while all women uh, who age will get fat or age like milk or like rotting uh, bananas when nothing could be further from the truth because men can age pretty badly as well. Now, all of us are aging and from the minute we're born, the clock is ticking and none of us have the power to get back uh, what happened yesterday. Some of you who are listening are in your teens, your 20s, some of you are in your 30s, some of you are 40 and over, but aging happens to all of us. However, I have noticed that aging is also a very sensitive and a very triggering topic for a lot of people because people do not like to be reminded that father time comes for everyone and that father time comes for everyone's scalp and everyone's edges uh, edges and women do not like to be reminded that high school cheerleaders will eventually turn into grandmothers and people in general do not like to be reminded that they are getting older or that they're middle-aged uh, people do not like to think about death people do not like to think about dying and people do not like to think about caskets or the grave or the headstone but that's men do hit the wall and for men it's a pretty rapid decline because men on average die at least seven to ten years before women do but a lot of dusties broke men and sexually frustrated men get on social media and they get also they get on youtube and they delude themselves into thinking that being an a-hole and a mental midget makes them appear taller and the first weapon that is often used with inadequate men is attacking a woman's looks and a woman's age. Now, a lot of these nasty, unhappy, insecure, and inadequate men have built entire online communities uh, dedicated to trashing, to trashing and denigrate denigrating women for fun and celebrating the downfall of women, but they themselves do not realize that they are aging as well. Now, let's talk about men hitting the wall. Because men age, and contrary to popular belief, they don't all look like Barack Obama, George Clooney, Richard Gere, Dr. J, or Shamar Moore. Uh, men go bald, men get thick fingernails, men lose their teeth, men wear dentures, uh, men have bad knees, Older men can smell like urine. Older men get stiff in the joints. A lot of older men are out of shape. A lot of older men have a gut. A lot of older men are sick and fat. A lot of older men have poor diets, which means poor health. A lot of older men are in wheelchairs. A lot of older men struggle with mental illness and depression. A lot of older men have dementia and Alzheimer's. A lot of older men um, are homeless. A lot of older men have strokes. A lot of older men have diabetes. They need insulin and insulin is expensive. And a lot of older men go from uh, quiet as kept go blind from diabetes and a lot of older men get prostate cancer and ding 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 most older men usually have some form of erectile dysfunction and this is the number one reason why men are on YouTube harassing women because they're impotent which is why Viagra has become more valuable than air and water to men now the reason why men tend to delude themselves into believing that they age better than women is because we live in a society where a man's age is never up for serious debate or discussion. A man's age is never used to define him. A man's age is never used as a weapon against him. Men are not attacked for being butt ugly or unattractive the way women are. You know, it's pretty ruthless with women, right? But I will say this, that men are attacked for having uh, small eggplants, men are attacked for being short, and men are attacked for being broke. But culturally around the world, men are allowed to age and women aren't given that same leeway when it comes to aging, which is 
is why after 35, for women, things tend to really shift in terms of marketplace value and desirability by men. So because of this double standard, when it comes to aging, a lot of men are immature and a lot of men believe that they are invincible. And most men believe that they are invincible. That is until those hair, those hair follicles start dropping and those gray hairs start popping up and then they're the old man in the club. For older men, uh, the music changes, right, with the generations, right? The fashion changes, the TV shows change. For women, this happens around 35, but with men, this aging process uh, starts to happen around the age of 50. This is when men begin to start feeling irrelevant and out of touch. And when men are over 50, the depression of defeat starts to rapidly set in, especially when a man doesn't have it financially together by the age of 50. They usually become ornery and an all around miserable person, uh, miserable men to be around because their stature in society is that of a low rank and file. When men are over 50, they are not as agile, their bones are weaker, they don't have the prowess of younger men. And when men get old and broken down, that's when a lot of them start looking for first, second, and third wives because they don't want to die alone. And they're looking for a nursemaid. And if they don't have the resources to find a woman, they better pray to God, pray to heaven they, they have, that they have a daughter because their daughters are usually the ones that end up doing the dirty work of taking care of their aging and ailing fathers. And this is why I tell women on my channel that men who don't take care of their kids have bad luck. They have bad juju because men, men never ever think that they're going to get old and men never think that they're going to hit the wall until they do. And that's when the brick wall of their neglect starts tumbling down and crumbling down all around them. Uh, men will fight women for years and years and years to not be providers, but when they get older, that's when karma comes the strongest to the bad apples because when men get older, they truly get defeated by father time. And this is why I don't pay attention to the nutcases in the comments section. I couldn't do it. I'll tell you why. <laughs> why? why, Tam? The whole point is to grow old with somebody and he's already there. So I can't, <laughs> like, that's just, Tam! And Tam. as you guys Fair. know, Fair. Tam, as you guys know, I love, I love sex. Fair. And I just, I can't be on edge thinking like, okay, is he gonna make it through this one? Like. What? Oh my God! That's just Wait. me. Wait, I, I, I want to. Find middle ground.